Hi there, Gabriel Zanair. And today I received a novelty from Google. Their super compact device, uh, which is able to turn your TV into a smart one and accordingly use it as a digital signage. Well, what immediately catches the eye among other characteristics declared is support of 4 key and HDR videos, plus 2 GB of RAM, all fit in a miniature device the size of a matchbox. Also, the device is sold with pre-installed Android 10 already in the basic kit, which is still a novelty for this kind of TV set-top boxes. As usual, let's start from taking a look at what's inside the box. To be honest, it is not poorly completed for such a cheap device. Well, there are a full-fledged USDC power supply and a small, well-made, nicely held remote. Even already uh, with two batteries available, and which is quite rare in sets of, set of such devices. So that's a nice surprise. Google went in the direction of a non-detachable, flexible, short HDMI cable, which actually makes it possible to connect and completely hide the device behind any TV. So now let's connect the device and configure it to work with low digital signage software as usual. With Android 10, Google has made uh, some changes in the interface and settings of the device. The authorization process in the Google service became uh, different and now it is necessarily required when using the device. In all other respects, everything is very similar and familiar to those who have already used Android TV before. If Google claims such characteristics of the device, we'll try to load it in accordance to them. Uh, for this purpose, we'll assign the layout, which we have already used before uh, for testing more expensive TV boxes. It includes several inbuilt apps, which get data from uh, the third-party sources and a playlist with several 4K videos. Let's look at the results. Everything works really just fine. Uh, you can see small levers, like, unlike NVIDIA devices, for example, but still, it is a very good result. Again, there are, there are several disadvantages of this device, similar to the previous models. And the main one is the inability to use it in a vertical mode for portrait uh, mounting of your screens. Also, Android 10 made changes into process of applications, auto start, and now it needs to be developed uh, additionally by producers of all platforms which use this function. And for digital signage, it seems to be most, the most relevant thing. Overall, I would say that the device is mostly suitable for a small digital signage, for small, yeah, just small digital signage projects. Maybe at the start of a business, the main advantage uh, of this option is that you don't need to spend a significant budget in order to turn your existing TVs without an, any operating system into remotely managed digital signage. At the same time, for the large scale deployments with more complicated scenarios, I would recommend to use something more powerful and reliable. I'll share the link for a couple of options in the description. So, Thank you very much for watching and um, I think this is the time has come to say goodbye. Don't forget to click the like uh, and to subscribe to our channel where we will proceed to share with you a lot more interesting novelties and news. Thank you.